my name is Chris Schultz, and I'm currently residing in Kildova Hills, North Carolina. I recently moved in from Austin, Texas, and I work for HQ Kites and Designs out of Chesapeake, Virginia. And I'm here today at the uh, Wright Memorial to uh, celebrate the 30th annual Wright Kite Festival. My name is Jim Koska. I'm from Fort Washington, Maryland, and I work for Premier Kites and Designs. And I'm here joining my friend Chris and all my other friends, Kite Flyers, at the Wright Kite Festival. The age groups that a kite festival probably appeal to the most are any kid at any age, period. If you're a kid at heart, it doesn't matter if you're 90 years old, you can find a lot of fun at a kite festival. Or if you're an infant that just is amazed by color and sound, you can become very interested in kites and kids on ground displays oftentimes we'll have very colorful flags and banners out and the little kids will just run in and out of those banners and uh, if we have kites that are big enough they can come down low to the ground children will love to play around the tails and grab at the kites and older folks we have competitors that are in their 70s that fly sport kite competitions there is no real age group that it applies to specifically uh, if you're interested in flight and interested in color and, and, and kites you can be found out here enjoying a kite festival. I think it's a it's a fantastic uh, event and activity for families because in today uh, today's uh, society it's often hard to get you know different age groups together uh, doing anything and having a good time you know and a kite festival like this uh, like Jim said so many activities you know whether it's a, a simple easy to fly kite that can really bring the family together uh, it's easy to do, uh, it's easy to find success, and it's fun, it's carefree. Kitty Hawk Kites also, not only are they the driving force, they provide the manpower for these festivals, the, the, uh, the crew to set up the fields. They also offer to the invited guests housing and uh, amenities, uh, sometimes transportation from the airport, depending on what the given situation is, but they, they treat the guest kite flyers very, very nicely, and uh, we all sometimes feel like royalty when we come down and uh, enjoy the flying and enjoy the weather and enjoy the hospitality. It's always a very casual, low-key, fun group of people, and uh, Kitty Hawk does a great job of making everybody feel welcome. The American Kite Flyers Association is the association for kite flyers in the United States. It's actually a worldwide uh, association. It's known around the world, and uh, they have a website at that website, you can log on to their calendar and find a region, no matter where you are in the country, you can learn about what festivals are taking place in your region that are AKA sanctioned festivals. And oftentimes, a local kite club will get a festival going and they'll put it on the calendar that's on the AKA website and you can learn about where it is, when it is, the time. There's usually a contact point, maps to how to get there. So it's a great way, if you have any interest in kite flying whatsoever, go to www.aka.kite.org and uh, once you're on that page you can go to the calendar page or to a local club page and you can find everything there is to need you might need to know about local events that are happening in your area.